Okay, so my playing's not perfect right there, but that just shows you how hard this stuff is. And, you know, if you think it's too hard for you, remember that's exercise number six. Things start a lot easier and you don't have to tackle all the keys all at once and you don't have to go that fast. So, um, you know, even if you're just starting off the jazz, the, the book will be good for you. Um, I should mention now about articulation, and I do write about this in the introduction. Uh, jazz articulation is something that you have to develop over time. And it's a personal thing, and, and really, I, you really can't learn it from a book, and nobody can write down exactly, you know, what they do. And, and you know, if you just listen to those scales, the scale patterns I was just playing, you know, I did it different a lot of the times. So, you know, it's really never the same because you're, you're improvising. And the articulation is also improvised. So, you know, the way you develop that is by listening and emulating every trumpet player you can find. And the range of articulation in jazz trumpet is, is vast. You know, you got Clifford Brown and Freddie Hubbard on, on one end is, you know, more staccato and sharp kind of a, attacks. And then you got Miles and Chet Baker on the other end where, that played more legato. And, you know, those guys all did it all anyway. So, Really, you can't even pigeonhole one person into one stop. Um, so, over time, you develop your own uh, articulation. And uh, that's one of the things in the book. It says, you know, to play something in a jazz articulation, well, that's pretty much, you know, what you make it out to be. Um, now, the next section of the book, deals with arpeggios and the, the uh, exercise page that you can download for free is arpeggio 6 and this deals with the minor 7th arpeggio which is very common uh, in uh, in the modern jazz trumpet method you will cover every kind of arpeggio you know that that you're going to need to for, for improvising on trumpet all right so here's a demonstration of arpeggio 6 <laughs> Okay, so once again, you don't have to play things as fast as I do, or you can play them faster. And, you know, there's models on many of these exercises, so I was tonguing everything there, but, you know, there's models at the bottom of the page. You know, you slur two and tongue two. And, um, next, we're going to deal with some intervals, and there's 20 interval exercises in the book. This is the first one, and it, it starts off right with fourths, because fourths are hip, and uh, we use them a lot in jazz. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of books about force, but really none that were like specifically written for trumpet. So none of the stuff really goes out of the range of the trumpet. And you know, if you think things are too high, you know, you don't have to play the whole exercise, um, you know, until you're ready to. All right, so here's a demonstration of interval exercise number one.
So there's a series of range exercises in the modern jazz trumpet method. And this is some of the hippest stuff that I've got here. And I, I use one thing, it's, I call it range arcs. Instead of just trying to hit the highest note you can in a range steady, we're going to go up to the note, come back down in a musical line. And it's also challenging to how to articulate those lines and how to, you know, get up to the upper register and come back down and, and you know, use it musically instead of just trying to hit the highest note. And um, so some of these range studies, like this one, is range builder number six. First part of it, 6A, is a range arc exercise. And then the second part of it is an actual range study. And uh, well, I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Okay, so once again, my playing's not perfect here, and and because uh, this stuff yeah, it's hard, and it's it's uh, it's good stuff to practice, and it's stuff that I've been working on a long time with my students and and myself, and always trying to find some new things to challenge the jazz trumpet player. So head on over to my website, bolvinmusic.com, and take a look at the modern jazz trumpet method. Thanks a lot. <laughs>